Hi, the next topic under capital budgeting is NPV and IRR. Both these concepts are very important in the corporate finance as well as under other topics in the CFA curriculum. This will also carry a lot of weight when you go to level 2 and level 3. These are the fundamentals on the basis of which a lot of decision making happens with respect to project selection. So pay attention. NPV NPV stands for net present value. Now this is a concept that you would have come across under the quants material as well. But here we look at net present value from the project perspective. Whereas under time value of money it was for any type of cash flow situation be it on any investments. Here the net present value is used for discounting the cash flows that occur over the project life. And this method the NPV method of capital budgeting considers all the cash flows that occur in the project. So let's try and understand how NPV is calculated. The NPV is calculated by discounting the cash flow stream at the appropriate discount rate that is K. So the denominator part that you see here the 1 plus K raised to the year in which the cash flow occurs is the discounting factor. So 1 divided by 1 plus k raised to 1, 1 plus k raised to 2 and so on is the discounting factor which are multiplied by the individual cash flows to get the present value stream. And we, when we total all the present values of these cash flows what we get is called a net present value. Let's take an example. Say for example, the cost of capital in our assumption is 8% as the discounting factor. Remember, the cost of capital is also known as the discounting factor or more appropriately is called the discount rate. So please remember this term. It is also known as the discount rate. So the cash flows occurring at the end of various years that is year 0, 1, 2, 3. What do you mean by 0 is this cash flow is occurring today, right now. So for a project X, the cash flow at the time 0 that is today, that is now is minus $200. And this is many times also termed as initial investment in capital budgeting projects. So further, at the end of year one, we'll generate $50 of cash flow, the end of year two, 100, and end of year three, 150. So how do we use or how do we calculate the NPV? First of all, what we do is find a discounting factor that is 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.08 the whole raised to the power the respective years that is 1 2 3 and so on so these discounting factors are calculated and then multiplied by the cash flows so cash flows multiplied by the discounting factor will give you the discounted cash flows. You can directly do straight away on your calculator that is 50 divided by 1.08 raised to 1 that is 50 divided by 1.08 and 100 divided by 1.08 square and 150 divided by 1.08 cube. So that will give you these cash flow amounts which are now the discounted cash flows. And when we add all of them up, what we get is the total NPV of the project that is $50.81. Remember here we already subtracted the initial investment from the inflows of the cash flows in present value terms and hence we get a net present value of 50.81. 
now you can also do this on your financial calculator and that is what you are expected to do on the examination to make your calculation quicker rather than following this algebraic method so let's see how to do that so on your calculator you will use the cash flow keys the CF keys to do this calculation so first of all obviously you have to clear all the memory and hence press second clear work press cash flow press second press clear work that is CEC button that will erase all the previous numbers that are there in the cash flow memory now what you see on the display is CF0 now we will have to type in 200 in a negative way so 200 and then plus minus key and then press enter then down arrow key now this will show me C01 to be entered which in our case is $50 press enter that takes the 50 into the calculation then press down arrow key now this will come to F01 this asks you to put in the frequency of cash flow 1 that you entered by default it will be 1 so if the cash flow 50 is occurring multiple times say twice or thrice you can enter 2 or 3 accordingly in our case it is occurring only once so we'll leave that as it is and press down arrow key again to come to C02 where we'll enter 100 we'll press enter and then press down arrow key again again it's F02 one more press of down arrow key and now we'll enter 150 pressing enter and now what we'll punch in is NPV when you press the NPV button it asks you to put in the I that is the interest rate or that is the discount rate that you have to put in we'll put 8 enter and press down arrow key and then it says NPV equals currently it's 0 0 because we are yet to compute it so now press the CPT or the compute button and it will give you the NPV of 51 that is how you can use your CF keys to calculate NPV on the financial calculator now what's the significance of NPV the NPV indicates the expected change in the value of the firm in present dollar terms or current dollar terms if the project is accepted which means it tells us about our increase in wealth or for an organization perspective it is the increase in shareholders or owners wealth so very very important the company and the management will always try and accept those projects which increase shareholder wealth and hence we accept those projects where the NPV is greater than zero that is the NPV is positive and is expected to increase shareholder wealth further accepting a zero NPV project will not increase any shareholder wealth the expected return is just matching our cost of capital and hence we are indifferent so the decision rule for independent projects is to accept all projects with an NPV which is positive or greater than zero now next topic is IRR that is internal rate of return very very important internal rate of return is many times used for decision making please remember internal rate of return is the rate of return at which the NPV becomes zero and hence we will accept all those projects which are greater than our benchmark cost of capital or the discount rate that we use to discount the cash flows so let's take an example and understand how it works again we will use the CF keys on our calculator to calculate IRR let's assume that the project cash flows are the same as we did in our previous example so it's minus oh, it's different here so it's minus 100 for year 0 
25 for year 1, 50 at the end of year 2, 75 at the end of year 3. So in this case, the initial investment is $100 and the rather positive cash flows are occurring at the end of year 1, 2, 3. Remember, for these calculations, the cash flows need to occur at equal periods of time. So, when we use the discounted cash flow at a 19.4% discount rate, say for example, we use the I or the discount rate for discounting these cash flows as 19.4%, we get these present values which total up to zero. But how to use the IRR calculation here? So, let's understand that. So, first of all, we'll punch in all these numbers in our financial calculator. So, press cash flow, clear work. And now, you press cash flow 0 as minus 100. Enter down arrow key. That brings you to C01, which is 25. Enter down arrow key. Again, F01, frequency of all cash flows is 1. So, down arrow key, we'll enter 50 enter down arrow key c03 again down arrow key c03 is 75 enter and now you directly press irr and press compute it will give you an irr of 19.4 percent now what does this mean is that at a discount rate, had we used a discount rate of 19.4% for discounting these cash flows, our NPV would have been zero. So the decision rule for independent projects with respect to IRR is that if our cost of capital is lesser than the IRR that we get, we can accept the project and because the positive NPV will be generated at that discount rate which is used as the cost of capital. So that is also termed as hurdle rate in financial terminology in corporate finance. So the decision rule is accept all the projects with an IRR greater than the cost of capital. Now this will always be equivalent to the result of NPV being greater than zero when the discount rate used is the cost of capital. So, if the NPV is greater than 0 or the IRR is greater than cost of capital, then the present value of these cash flows will always be higher than the initial cost of the project. Very, very important point to be remembered. An important assumption of an IRR is that all the cash flows that are generated during the tenure of the project are reinvested at the same rate of return. 